Francis George, physiotherapist, and I'm here with Lily May and her mum and dad. And we've been doing a programme of standing abduction for Lily May to help improve her hip position. And we did so. We did it very successfully. Um, but because it, Lily May had a dislocated hip, it wasn't such a straightforward case. So we've needed to go for hip surgery to, re to bring that hip back into joint. And we're still doing a standing abduction programme here. Um, but Lily May's doing really well. And I'd like to, you know, really to ask you guys, kind of, how have you found the whole thing? Because we've been on this journey for about a year now, haven't we, together? I think at first we, we had our doubts, obviously, because it was a new thing that had been tried. You know? But one thing that fascinated us when you showed us and, and put Lily May actually in the stand at the beginning was the fact it was the first ever time that she could actually play while she was actually working, i.e. with the leg muscles and everything in the right position. So because she was distracted that way, time flew past. So as we built up from 10 minutes to 20, then to half an hour, then to an hour, all of that was doing in the world good. Her, her muscles were building up her legs and, and, and she was used to the weight being on, but all the time while she was playing. So it, it worked an absolute treat. And you're spot on, Tony, because you know, because we had that abducted position, we had a wider base of support, we had a more balanced stable, so we improved strong improvements in head control, we saw improvements in sitting balance, didn't we, after it all? So we were giving her a nice stable base and she was upright against gravity to work, um, and we're continuing to do that, and we'll continue to see some nice and hopefully some exciting developments after this period of surgery which we're in at the minute. I think as part of a journey, I think it, it's it's a piece of machinery that she's actually got engaged in, like I said, she can right. play. She feels as though she's part of it without fighting against it, which I think is, is a really great thing to be doing, especially from a physiotherapy side. It's very rare that you actually get a patient actually engaging physiotherapy, so from, she, she thoroughly enjoys it. From what she had before to, to what she's got now, there's no benefit in the other one that she had before, yeah. otherwise she just laid back the yeah. legs straight. Yeah, no. And now she's getting the benefit of what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah. And as you can see, I mean, she hasn't even got a toy in front of her now, but she's quite happy. Oh, she does been up right yeah. now, doesn't she? It's one of her favourite positions that, you know, to be. The length of time that she's been out of the cast, which is only a matter of a few weeks, yeah. it's tremendous to see it. And we're straight back in on the therapy programme we need to be doing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. It's just a great example of how teamwork and how an integrated approach helps, you know, achieve the great results and what it's all about, which is about you, isn't it? Yeah! <laughs>